Hey everyone, it's Daniel here from InfraRest. Hope you're all doing well. I wanted to do a quick video and actually ask you guys, what do you think your currency would look like in an environment where we never get to the same inflation level or inflation rate back in 2019? If we never reach there, if we just simply have a structural change that leads us in the future forever to be at maybe a new mandate of three or four or maybe five percent inflation that we'll have to live for the rest of our lives. What do you think your currency will look like, right? And what will it, how will it perform compared to the other currencies out there? And not only how it will perform, but will it bring a new concept or a new technology in to kind of offset the underperformance of your currency. Now, what am I talking about? Where am I going? Where I'm going with this is I, I'm talking about the CBDC, the Central Bank Digital Currency, right? Mm -hmm. So another form of crypto, but in the form of a uh, verified central bank crypto coin that's coming out from the head of the central bank and believe it or not in the US they are already planning to have the CBDC they have plans out written plans and they plan to have this launched within the next year now why and it and, and it makes you think you know if we get a little bit into conspiracy theory some may some you know some can get into this quite heavily and say that it was all planned and this and covid and this and that and everything that we're seeing is all planned i don't want to get into that but i do want to say that it is quite interesting to see how the developments have been playing out since this massive drop that we see um uh, that caused um, you know massive drop in 2020 when we saw uh, the markets crash and we had a recession and all of a sudden we had the government handy handy now kind of this stimulus uh, check right like um, you know like it's free candy free money right and then you had the central bank pumping money and on top of that you know that wasn't the only thing or part of the uh, main reason of higher inflation, then you have this huge shift and change of globalization that was affected, right? For a decade or two, we had, um, you know, globalization kind of bring in disinflation into the U.S., right? We saw that um, a lot of goods we bought from China and other countries um, made the prices lower. But now, with this tensions between U.S. and China, the West versus the East, you can put, you know, U.S., Canada, Europe in that um in that kind of uh west environment right and then you 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 compare that with the east um on the other side like india china russia um you know saudi all all teaming up together um in other in, in many many different forms and, and you know you may ask how so just look at opex plus decision right the two million uh, barrels of cut basically led to um, you know a disagreement basically is kind of um, you know in, in other words I, I'm trying to figure out the nice words to 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 um, uh, to pick but in other words basically stick the finger right to the west saying that hey um, we are um, not going to you know, increase production because you tell us to do so, right? We're not going to, you know, listen to your rules that you keep telling us. So there is a change and that's fueling up that inflation story. Now, where does CBDC and crypto come into this, right? And where I see this, um, this play out is if we end up getting a 2008 level type of recession or even worse, right? If we get a very ugly recession, what will that do? I mean, if 2020, we had a very fast V-shaped recovery, um, you know, what will this year or next year look like? 
and especially if the recession is not going to be like 2020 and then the supply chain issues that we had had nothing to do with COVID this time. It's more of this structural change. So what if inflation continues to move up higher and higher and stay elevated? And on top of that, you have an ugly recession, then the central banks need to come out and, and print money like crazy and cut rates. Now, the U.S. Um, has increased their rates to quite high levels, and they want to get to levels around 4.5 to 4.75%. Uh, and... And that's one tool to help the economy if it were to really drop. Um, and that's one tool to help the economy to pump, pump it back up. But what if, you know, you end up in a very, um, you know, tough situation where you have stagflation, where people are just simply, um, the recession is just really prolonged. What do you do? You print as much money as you can. And we've heard some talks about how the U.S. has seen how Europe has dealt with negative interest rates and how also um, Japan has dealt with negative interest rates. And they probably don't want to head into that direction. So what do you do? What is a new tool that you can bring up if the printing of money and cutting of rates and this high inflation that continues to go up, what does that do to your currency? It makes it very, very much worthless. So you have to bring in a new tool, which is that CBDC, that crypto coin, crypto central bank digital currency. So this CBDC is what it what it looks like it's going to do is basically help people out there and the economy in such a way so that the central bank can control the um, the way spending and and control the way people go out there and and um, and spend money and invest and whatnot. That's where CBDC will come into play because cash is looking like. Um, it's going to be worse off in the future, especially with all these risks that we have. Supply chain, the disruption between the West and the East. Um, on top of that, you know, an ugly recession with, if, with a current, let's say, high inflation would just push the, your currency, especially the dollar. I know the dollar has been moving up, but let's talk about the dollar, how it would look like you know, a year or two from now or a couple of years from now, if you do get this ugly recession, you'll probably see the dollar plunge, especially after testing from the government all of these um, stimulus money, right? All of the stimulus money that came out because the more supply of cash you have, the more money you print and give it to people, that makes your cash valueless, worthless. So, what do you do? How do you control this situation better than in 2020? You introduce a CBDC, a crypto coin, so that now your crypto coin, if you're going to earn a stimulus check, if you're going to earn, let's say, UBI, universal basic income from the government, because, you know, times is really, really rough, you're going to get it in the form of a CBDC a central bank digital currency instead of maybe getting ca uh, a check mailed to your um to your uh, to your house or it still may be mailed to your uh, to your house a check but your cash is going to now be linked to the CBDC and what happens is that no matter what money you get from the government or whatever cash you keep under your mattress, it's going to be one-to-one -one linked with your CBDC. And if the CBDC, if the central bank decides um, that, you know, they're going to, um, um, let's say, push rates lower and lower or, or put some sort of clause where CBDC, that if you hold any cash or if you, if you keep CBDC in your in your bank account, you are losing value uh, by a lot. And especially in, in an environment of, of high inflation, and if it continues to be higher, keeping cash, whether it's under your mattress or getting it from the government and holding that check is going to be worthless. It's, it's, it's not, 
system is going to be pointless because it's going to be connected to that CBDC. And if they decide to make the CBDC worthless of, of just having it sit there in your bank account and, and if rates, let's say, go negative, for example, then the interest rate that you earn on your savings account is no more going to be positive. It's going to be negative. So you're losing money for just keeping cash sitting there in your bank account, whether it's a CBDC virtual coin in your account or your cash that's sitting there under the mattress because it's it's linked to it one to one. So you, there's no way to hide away from this this um, uh, this new technology because of how CBDC will be linked to uh, cash and it will force the consumer to go out there and say that, okay, if I've got cash sitting there under my mattress or I've got, um, you know, cash, a CBDC currency in my um, savings account, I'm losing money. I need to put it somewhere because I'm losing money on just the negative rates plus higher inflation, it would be stupid of me just to keep it there. So let me spend it. Let me do something with it because there's no point of keeping money there in um, in the accounts, right? And there you go, you, you eliminate the whole idea of owning any physical cash, any physical currency, everything's gonna be super digitalized and it's going to be more controlled in such a way that it forces consumers to, let's say, okay, you've got cash in the savings account, it's sitting there losing money, go invest it. Or maybe go and spend that money on, um, you know, going to a restaurant or buying a car or a motorcycle or whatever, right? To make use of it because it's sitting there and doing nothing. So that's where you could see really, really good control from the central bank um, by new policies, by a new structural change in the economy and this new CBDC crypto coin, that's just going to be linked to your cash. So pretty interesting just, um, you know, and, and um, the IMF, uh, you can you can Google it. Um, if I find the link, I'll post it in the description. But the IMF has talked about this CBDC uh, topic and this coin and how it would actually work in countries like uh, the US. And you can probably see a lot of countries adopt the same thing, same as we've heard Russia coming up with their own SWIFT system, their own crypto coin, that being used on the east side among other trading partners maybe that being linked towards oil to get oil off the u.s dollar so a lot of things could come out of this um the cbdc coin and this crypto movement or this digital currency movement along with all the other factors that are going hand in hand with the supply chain issues the tensions between the west and the east and um, definitely you could see a lot of structural change plus the inflation increasing and a lot of structural change uh, down the road and and it'll be interesting to watch and see so let me know what you guys think leave a comment below subscribe hit the bell icon hit hit, hit the like button as well and i'll see you guys around thanks bye